Nah. At Dunkeasy. <laughs> Dude, he's such a bro. Everybody that like has beef with him are such pussies. This is an official call out. Dunk easy, I will fight you. I'm not fighting you. You want me to show you tough? I'll show you tough. Hey! 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 Another year, another Sydney Street Jam. I'm the one that got arrested! <laughs> What a shamble, mate. Am I right? What an absolute shamble. Surely this year is gonna be better, right? Ooh, we're school red. I think there will be no drama this year because you always start the drama. It's not like you're just the person that talks about the drama after it already happens when it really had nothing to do with you in the first place. Ooh, this street gem will be epic. Yeah. The Sydney Street Jam, for those of you who don't know, is an epic showcase of scootering hosted by a local group dubbed the Friendly Crew. Sadly, this epic showcase of scooter riding is having its main purpose tarnished by people like the slimy pile of trash that people call Dunk Easy. Dunk Easy is so rad, what are you talking about? But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. What? What? What a do, Buddha Crew? It is your boy Finesse B here, back with another brand new video today. We're going to be discussing the Sydney Street Jam and the horrible things that happen at it. Wow. Sound the alarm! Scooter Brad is talking trash again. <sighs> like Ice Cube said, yet. Yeah. Damn right. So the jam started out at a ledge spot in the city where Dunk was immediately spotted sporting whose scooter? Not his own. So the jam started at a ledge spot in the city where Dunk Easy was immediately spotted holding whose scooter? Clayton Lindley's, of course. The scooter that he stole from Clayton just over a month ago was in his possession and Jared Smith, one of the friendly crew homies and organizer of the event, confronted Dunk in an attempt to disperse the kids that were crowding around him while he was drawing attention to himself. Like he always is. What's going on here? What are you going to do? Go away. The dude is just standing there drawing attention to himself, but he sacks it to Jared, saying this. I just want to be chill. I don't want to start any drama. I just want to be chill. I don't want to start any drama. You show up to a scooter event where literally every single person there hates you. On top of that, he decides to bring along a scooter that he stole from a worldwide widely respected rider, a true professional of the sport, and you're standing there saying you just want to be chill, don't want to start any drama? Bro, we got scooters, we don't want this. This is a f***ing street jam! Don't ride! Right. The same scooter that you violated, set on fire, pissed on, intervention can make a lifetime of difference, and threw in the ocean, yet you expect, oh my god, you're retarded. Ooh, he's cute. I just want to be, oh no, he's retarded. But guys, it's okay, don't stress. Because my man, Reese Hanneman, has served the mightiest form of justice. Reese took back Clayton's scooter and dipped. <laughs> give me that. Give me that. Let's go. Give me that. Oi, give me it. Back is gone. Back is gone. Back is Back is That's what happens when you feel like someone else. Can we get a round of applause? Everybody, clap it up for the man, please. Just, oh, I'm so proud of you, my man. Let's just give it up for him, man. Guys, Dunk's scooter just got stolen. Cl Clayton's scooter. Now, as soon as this happened, you all know that the hell broke loose. Like, dude, I got sent way too many videos about this drama at this street jam, okay? All I wanted to see out of the jam was the bangers, everyone going out, sending it with the boys, and I wanted to see some fire-ass Instagram clips, man. And all I see is... Dunkeasy running away from this fight. Dunkeasy running away from this fight. Jack confronting Dunkeasy. This person checking out his belt. This person, this person, this, this, this. I'm not scared. Yeah, you're scared. Stop! Stop it now. Just stop. Ooh. It seems like the drama at this particular street jam was the most talked about thing of the whole event instead of the actual event itself. It's all anyone is talking about. I'm still yet to see some quality scooter content from this jam. Why? Because everybody's way too focused on the BS. Even Jack's more concerned about whether or not this dude's off-white belt is real or not. Have a look. Legit check. You can even check it. Bro, how insecure are you? Holy. Ooh, look at my $300 belt. Ooh. 
Give me approval. Uh, you, 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 you can check it. It's, it, it, it's real. I, I just tie it up like this. Boom. Pants secured. This dude is actually the biggest pussy on the planet. The biggest one. Very big. Dunk is constantly posting videos of him fighting on his Instagram from the solidarity and safety of random locations throughout Sydney where nobody's around. And here is proof that he's all talk and no action. How are you going to be posting that online, but in real life you run away like this? Snack him gone! Snack him gone! Snack him gone! Snack him gone! Oh, that's it. This pipsqueak has got to go. This meme is dead. Okay, it's very dead. Here lies Dunk Memesy. Died March 2019 of gigantic pussy syndrome. On the real though, I am actually disappointed that this has now happened for two years in a row. Okay, it's time for the individual riders to put their egos aside for the betterment of scootering. Unfortunately, the egos are apparently so big that these riders, they don't care about the attention, good or bad. No amount of attention is ever going to be enough for them. Last year, Jack made an absolute fool of himself on nighttime television following the jam. But you got to take responsibility though. you got to take responsibility for what you're putting on a YouTube channel because you're very influential. Young boys will be watching that and girls will be yeah, watching that. Yeah, there are that. a lot of young kids. I mean, that's also up to the you know parents watching what their kids are, I guess, looking at on the internet. Um, no, no, no. You've got to take responsibility for what you're putting onto the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. This year, we've got Dunk Easy purposely stirring the pot to get all the attention that he possibly could. What's going to happen next? Jack, how did this get so out of control? Despite the fact that some gnarly stuff was performed at the jam that I have seen, and hopefully we'll be able to make another video about that in the future. But here's something that I wanted to point out at this jam, okay? When the spot gets shut down, just abide and and just go just move on because standing around screaming Fuck the police is not going to help anybody in the long run with all due respect to everybody watching this video i know it's frustrating to get kicked out of a spot but that's the way it is those spots technically aren't meant to be ridden and if someone catches you riding it then it's game over just move on come back another time and try your luck again but don't stand around screaming Fuck the police because it has year-round repercussions for scooter riders everywhere and we don't want to be known as the delinquents in the streets we don't want to be the next public nuisance that follows skateboarding. No one wants that image portrayed on them. There's nothing we can do. The police are here. They're shutting us down. We must move on to the next spot. Oh. Guys, we are better than that. These friendly dudes are literally screaming out the facts. Screaming them. This is a fucking street jam. Don't ride. And that is facts. It's a street jam. It's not an episode of Jack Hat. Street jams are an event where the whole point is to just go out and send it with the boys. Not to make an ass of yourself in a crowd or crowd around a person making an ass of themselves. I'm going to be completely real with you guys. I was literally just rolling my eyes every time somebody sent me another clip of Dunk Easy running away from this fight or running away from this fight. Like you guys are giving him all the attention that he wants. You are spreading the disease that is Dunk Easy. It's like a virus that just latches on here and there and everywhere. And then you're all passing around in the form of memes and video clips. Like you guys are all feeding the flame and that's exactly what he wants. How do you not see this? How? how? I for one am personally sick and tired of only hearing about negativity within scootering. And all I want to know is who had the good angle of Kai's whip front 50. And shout out to Son Desi for taking home a bunch of money from the jam. The guy was out there performing and doing what he does best and doing what the actual event is actually there for, you know? Like actually, how many times did I actually just say actually? I don't know. I bet you guys were probably expecting a video of me roasting Dunk for, you know, 20 minutes or whatever. And although it's fun and it's very easy to do, like I just, bro, there's not even a point in doing it, you know? Like it's just, like I said, it's a virus that you're all just spreading around. Like wouldn't you want, wouldn't you rather just watch these whip front 50s and bar front 50s on huge gaps. Wouldn't you rather see that content instead of, oh my God, Dunkey, she ran away from this fight. What a surprise. He's a bitch. Okay, we all know he can't fight. It's apparent in his videos that he posts on his Instagram account. He is toxic. Okay, I don't need to roast him because he does it to himself. Everybody can see that he's just a massive waste of oxygen. One thing that I will point out is that I was not happy with the fact that Chris Parisi's had to stand in front of him and defend him almost. Although I did speak to Chris Parisi's later on and I'll get to that. But my main point was that why was he trying to protect Dunk Easy in any shape or form? Like whatever Dunk is got coming to him, whether it's a fight or verbal abuse, 
He absolutely deserves that because of the content that he puts on the internet for the world to see. He is doing that to himself. And Chris Priestis has no place in defending that or even settling that in the first place. You don't want to fight here. Everyone fucking watching. We don't want to fight. You want to fucking fight. So fuck off. Fuck off. If there's going to be somebody that wants to rock Dunk Easy because of what he's put on his Instagram account, then so be it. He absolutely deserves it because he's a disrespectful little sh**. <laughs> now, I did speak to Chris in the in the DMs and there is a clip of him saying, yes, Dunk Easy is a fuckwit, but there's no point having a fight at the street jam. We're here for a street jam. We're not here to put on any fights, right? Which is true. However, like I said before, it comes back to my original point. I do believe the Dunk Easy had everything coming to him anyway. So it's like, why even try to put a stop to it? It's bound to happen. The only thing that Chris is doing by getting in the middle of these fights is prolonging the fact that Dunk Easy assumes that he's untouchable in the Scooter community because he can just run away to the protection of the bigger guys around him that will protect him like Chris did. Now you guys know this. I've been in a heated situation like this before. And I wasn't expecting anyone else to jump in to try to calm it down because they knew and I knew all too well that I had what was coming to me. The only thing Chris Parisis is doing by trying to settle this situation is really prolonging the aggression against Dunk Easy anyway. It helps absolutely no one. And although violence is never the answer, there has to be some sort of outcome to this situation. Like physical violence is never really a good outcome of a situation. But when someone in the situation is literally posting on the internet, fight me, box me, calling out Ryan Williams, calling out Clayton Lindley, calling out Wesma of all people with his stupid Instagram videos, I think it's safe to say that he needs a left, right, good night. And although I'd love to be the person to give it to him, I don't think that's ever going to happen because he's a little bitch. This whole thing is just a ploy to get attention, to grasp onto the relevancy that they so desperately want. I spoke to one of the friendly writers and they even said that they had considered trying to get these guys banned from their events, but they can't do so when it's hosted in a public place, which is a shame. I'm going to speak freely from this point. Personally, I think that the guys in the scooter community, kids and adults, you guys all need to band together and decide what you want scootering to be and where you want the direction of scootering to go. Because the things that you talk about, the things that you like on Instagram, comment about on Instagram, whether it's positive or negative, if you bring attention to those things, rather than bringing attention to other things, the things that you do bring attention to are going to be the direction of scootering because that's what everyone's talking about. It comes down to what you guys are doing. Everybody has their part. And if everyone is migrating to Dunk Easy's private Instagram account to hate on him, he becomes the main talking topic of scootering. And I don't think anybody really wants that. If you're all going over there to just leave hate comments, then what's the point in going there at all? Maybe it's time to consider what you're really supporting in scootering. Here's the main point I want to get across. If you're talking about something in scootering, whether it's positive or negative, they are a hot trending topic of scootering. Hundreds, thousands of kids are going to these Instagram accounts to leave hate comments with the intention of practically destroying that writer's reputation. But you're going about it the wrong way. If you really don't like a certain individual writer, then just leave them alone. Everybody needs to collectively remove these people from their minds and from their daily behaviors. You can't go around commenting on every single Dunk Easy post, leave the scooter industry, you suck, we hate you, you are terrible, you're toxic, you're a virus, whatever you're gonna say. It doesn't matter because you're still leaving comments, you're still making this person relevant. So if you want them not to be relevant, the best way to do is unfollow Stop commenting. Stop talking about them. That's how you put an end to it. This has been your boy Scooter Brad talking about the Sydney Street Jam. And I wish there was a lot more positive clips and stuff to actually review. But unfortunately, it seems like the community was well too interested in what those few individuals were doing. Instead of the entire point of the event itself. I'm going to end this video thanking the friendly crew for trying to put on an event like this. They say it was a great success. The, the turnout was great. They said it was a great day for scootering. And I do support that. I believe that. And I really do back the fact that these crews are putting on events like this for the community because that's what it's about. It's about scootering. It's about going out and sending it with the boys. It's not about who's wearing the most hype beast outfit. It's not about who is fighting who or who stole whose scooter. You guys need to really double down and focus on the main point, And that is actually scootering. Okay. This has been your boy Scooter Brad and I'll see you guys in the next 
video. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Bye. I'm in a tech, tech, tech mode. Blap, blap, blap. Gone rap, rap, rap. Tipping my hat, hat, hat. All these haters around me, they talking down on me. And I can f with that, that, that. Now I'm on a map, map, map. Can't leave the crib or crap. Gee, the only thing I'm receiving is black. But when I'm at it, I make stacks, stacks, stacks. Yeah, misunderstanding the fact, fact, fact. You just see the finished product like it was made in the snap. But it ain't.